Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Marco and today we are back with more Hunter Hunter manga. I will be reading chapter 345. Last one was crazy, just like all the previous ones with that bombshell at the end of the chapter and Jing talking about a person named Don Freaks that is supposed to be like Jing's grandpa or something and that there is a chance that he still might be alive and that he is the person who wrote that book about the Dark Continent, the book that those people who are researching Dark Continent were reading, right? And only one edition, the East edition. There is East and maybe West, but we are not sure, man. And Jing, was, and, Jing and the others were speaking about three possibilities, right? That it's not been found yet, right? That it's not written or that it's still getting written as we speak, man. Even though uh, the previous book was found 300 years ago. How? Because of Dark Continent and all the resources and nature that exists there, including that longevity rice uh, herbs that can cure anything and we saw that uh, Brian is guarding that city where we can find those herbs and we got uh, expanded information about all those like disasters, right? About uh, Zobai, Pap, uh, Helben, uh, Brion, what else do we have? Ai, of course. Uh, did I miss one? But yeah. You guys all know about them and how freaking dangerous uh, Dark Continent is. And we even saw young Netero with his friends. And his friend is none other than Zig Zoldik. And you guys told me that he is probably the one on the picture that we saw in the anime, right? But there is still some confusion about that, so I'm not really sure. But it would make sense, right? Considering that he fought... Netero, if he's Zeno's grandpa or whatever, and the girl that we saw is actually that gourmet hunter that fell asleep during elections, which is also quite nice detail, man. That, that uh, I was really uh, surprised when I learned that information. Uh, also, uh, you guys pointed out that on that beautiful, beautiful panel of Dark Continent, we can actually see three of them. They're so tiny standing on uh, that like high ground in the bottom right corner, man. I really like that detail, so shout out to Matthew to who pointed that out to me. I'm having a lot of fun, man. I'm excited about Don Freaks, man. Uh, they simply can't mention a person like that and then have it be that that's not correct information that we learn, man. But it's Togashi after all, like, you can never, never predict what's gonna happen under any circumstances, but that's gonna be important, for sure, man. We saw Kon, who can't feel any aura, but we saw him, even though it was like one panel, I was happy about that, and then we have stuff with Kurapika, obviously, and Misa is talking about how there are some, like, dark shadows surrounding that prince, right? And I'm getting like these really bad vibes, so it's gonna be so interesting, man. So the only pair of eyes that is left for Kurapika to retrieve for his brethren is in possession of that prince. So yeah, he will try to get that no matter what. And we have my boy Leorio. Leorio and Kurapika are supposed to join Zodiacs, which is really insane, but I love it. I love it so much. And Kurapika was remembering someone like waving at him or something from his clan. It was quite sad, man. But yeah. And lots of interesting things. Obviously, Jing, Pariston, and Beyond Screw. That's also hella interesting. Uh, <laughs> he said that he will pay double the amount of what Beyond paid. paid and he started paying that guy. Uh, disappeared with the money and I thought it was over for him, we are not gonna see him again. What a freaking guy. He goes to the hospital, he 
helps the hospital and his sister, right? And he comes back to follow Jing Pro. I wasn't expecting that. That was so dope, man. And the others are very shocked as well. They are now like surely, slowly but surely, gonna accept the Jing as the part of the crew. But he especially demands that he wants to be considered number two, right? And also, he was asking Pariston for the number of his, uh, I guess, uh, bank account, man. That was really funny as well. Two of them together is always such a treat. So, yeah, guys, I'm pretty excited to see what happens next. Also, I checked out that chart at the end. I didn't really pay attention last time because I was so stuck on Don Freaks, right? But we actually can see the threat levels of uh, Chimera Hands, of I, Brion, uh, Zobai, all those disasters and also humans as individuals and as as uh, like I guess humanity as a whole and humanity as a whole has like very high uh, total score like A mi minus or B plus man I mean we have nukes and stuff so yeah humanity is pretty dangerous as a whole so that was pretty interesting to see and I guess I'm ready for the next chapter guys so let's begin all right guys here we are chapter 345 called signature okay and we are in kakin clearly and we see jing let's go you don't have any aura no you had it when you were with me you probably can't see it anymore It's just, it just means you went back to normal. Isn't that enough? He is actually talking to Gon about the aura. Wait, that is actually so nice. Wait, he's now talking to him on the phone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jink is progressing his father, I see. Let me read that again. You don't have any aura. This is Jink speaking to him. And Gon answers no. Oh, sorry. This is Jing also. Oh, you had it when you were with me. You probably can't see it anymore. Wow. So that means that Jing felt Gon's aura, but I guess Gon can sense it, man. So, I mean, if we translate Ned to be like a life energy, it makes sense that Gon would still have it. But he can't use it still, it seems, right? It just means you went back to normal. Isn't that enough? Remember what you told me. Let it end. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, when he transformed. Look at this. I didn't even notice this. Let it end. I don't care what happens to me now. Yeah, that was the... Deal he made. The condition... You fought with the intent to throw everything away, and you turned back to normal. You'd be ungrateful if you wanted more. Be happy about it. <sighs> oh. I mean, what Jing is saying is kinda based, right? Jing always has something good to say. Basically, he's saying you are still alive and you back. We are back to normal, right? It would be selfish if you would want to use Nen again after the deal you made, right? And you letting uh, how to put this not caring about what happens to you like using everything you have and it would be basically ungrateful as he said to want more and greedy oh man i'm not sure if gon will use Ned again man this will be a good opportunity for you to figure out what you can do as you are now oh my god this basically feels like we are wrapping up like Gon's story, man. Holy shit. I would certainly not like that, man. But still. He came back to Mito, right? Look at her expression. 
she collecting shells. Ah, this is such a sweet panel, man. He's going back. Oof, what a way to start the, the chapter. Will we get to see more of Gon? Maybe he will uh, he have uh, the laundry. He's peeling potatoes, preparing meals. Yeah, he's helping around the house. There is Granny as well, she's still alive. Didn't she like lose her children in some sort of terrible accident, man? Like their family has been through it, man. Nighttime is washing dishes. You didn't want to travel with him. That's uh, me to asking him, right? With Jing. Mm, I don't really know. If I had met him while I could use Nan, I might have gone with him. And why is that? Hmm. I don't know how to put it. I guess it wasn't that I wanted to see him. I realized after I saw him that my goal had been to find him. Okay. Yeah, that was his goal, basically. It was fun talking to him. I was glad to meet him and it made me happy. But he's more like an awesome uncle I'd always heard about, not a dad. Yeah, he's not cut out to be a dad, nor does he know how. <laughs> She's immediately getting angry. Nor is he willing. <laughs> yeah, you always told me. Like father, like son, I guess. Maybe I wasn't cut out to be a son. Holy shit. Gorn is always so harsh on him, man. On himself. Sorry, that's not what I meant. Just that Jink is a jerk and... Haha, <laughs> I know. It was a joke. <laughs> Yo, this is so cute actually. But yeah. Gorn's one and only goal was to meet his father, right? And it makes sense. Like, this part, if I had met him while I could use Nen, I might have gone with him, right? Because he would continue to develop and he would continue this, like, dangerous journey. It's weird. It didn't cross my mind that I should stay with him just because he's my dad. But if I had been able to use Nen, and had felt how awesome and powerful he is, I would have wanted to go with him. Also, that as well. He would be able to tell how strong Jink is. We remember how crazy Gon and Kilwa developed their Nens. They would be able to tell that Jink is a beast, man, for sure. This all makes perfect sense. But it was kind of chaotic when we met, and I was no longer able to feel his aura at all. So as a result, I get to be with you. <laughs> She's so glad about that. Now that you're back to normal, welcome to reality. Hmm? There were a lot of things you were exempt from because you were working as a hunter. Look at all this paperwork. <laughs> know what they said to me? First, write an 8 to 10,000 word report on what you've been doing. Write a resume and make a, make 30 copies. Jesus. Here's the test form, the correspondence school for the scholastic achievement certificate we need to send to social services and education bureau. And four semesters worth of textbooks. Oh my god. <laughs> god really didn't go to school, so... Yeah, everything was waiting for him. Damn. All, all that paperwork, eh? Seems like we are really, like, gonna see Guan living a normal life. What? All of this? Such a pain. I'll have you know, 
kids who go to school deal with 100 times more than this. <laughs> wow. It's actually kind of wholesome to see this. But I would, I'm, I keep repeating this, I would love to see Gon in the future of the story as well. Oh shit, back to this. All right. Okay. We talked while you were gone. Since Pariston considers you number two, we won't object to you being second to beyond. But some of us refuse your money, while others are willing to accept it. Okay, and they separated them, right? Oh, Pariston is willing to accept it. This guy already got it, and these two want the money as well, right? Okay, obviously this guy doesn't want it, we know. The freaking astronaut suit doesn't want money, and these three as well, including him. Alright. Hmm. And to avoid chaos until all of us decide at least to accept the money, we agreed not to listen to any of your orders. Alright. As you guessed, we were hired by Beyond to Pariston. Simply put, we are temp hunters. Temp like temporary hunters. They are not the real hunters or temps, huh? We don't care if you look down on us. The whole lot of us won't stand a chance against an almighty start hunter. You don't have to lie. You're all experts, aren't you? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense that they're bluffing, man. Why would Beyond choose them? You became hunters just for this journey. You have the particular skills necessary to face the unknown. Exactly. You've been planning this for a long time with Beyond as your leader. Look at all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There is eleven of them. And I guess now Jing is number twelve. So just like Zodiacs. Hmm. Are we gonna have a potential battle between Zodiacs and these guys? But Beyond wants Hunter to go with him on this journey. Zodiacs. This is annoying. Ariston is thinking. You also maintain the power balance in the association to keep Pariston as vice chairman. Pariston handled the business side while Netero remained chairman. We do think alike. Is that why I don't like him? <laughs> oh my god. This is Pariston thoughts. We do think alike. Is that why I don't like him? Perhaps. Meanwhile, you pretended to be opportunists while sharpening your claws. You need strong willpower, people whose skill is the source of their self-confidence. Will cowards would never go to the Dark Continent for want of money, right? So annoying. I might grow to hate someone for the first time in my life. So that's how much Jing has influence over Pariston. That's how... Jing's presence affects Pariston. This is so fucking good, man. I love this. So what Pariston likes is that people hate him. He gets a kick out of that, right? And this is the first time it seems that he's feeling that from someone else, man. Jing is such an incredible character. And Pariston as well. So... The ten of you here isn't everyone, is it? Can you tell the others I'll pay them up front too? I'm looking forward to this. There is more. This is not the whole group. This isn't an order. 
I want to see what I want to do to someone I hate. Sure, I let everyone know. <laughs> he's saying that. Sure, I let everyone know, but this is what he's thinking. I want to see what I want to do to someone I hate. He doesn't really know himself, right? Because he has never been in that situation. This is so fucking interesting, Lin. I want to see as well what Pariston would do. How will he cope with that? If everyone will know, I'll take the money. You refused out of regard for them? Will you tell us your account number? No paying me back. Ignoring my question, oh well. Give it to Beyond, I'm sure he'll gladly spend it. Do you have any idea how many of us there are? I just told you, there are about 200 of you in the association. Only a few would actually go to the continent. About 25, max. Any more and the team would be too unwieldy. Is there anyone from the association side? I bet Chidl or Mizai would put a stop to that. Beyond promise to pay 1.5 billion to those who go. 200 million to the alternates. Why is that? The fortune of a top hunter is incredible. Holy mother of God. How rich is Jing, bro? Yeah, this guy's reaction is completely understandable. But is there really a point in paying so much? If they are in the plan, everyone should include those staying on this side. Though the money would simply disappear in... Uh, R? What is this? R&D? Or anything we'd bring back? Uh, it'll get you started at least. Okay, sorry, I was supposed to read these two together. But is there really a point in paying so much to take power from Pariston in name only? It's Jing, man. It's Jing. All I can say you is let him cook and you will find out. Oh, okay. We are in some sort of disco, man. Yeah, this is clearly like a city, nighttime in some city. We have a very fancy entrance and some like cars of some perhaps celebrities. People are having a great time. Okay, we have some characters that they are specifically showing to us. Man, I really like how Ogashi draws female characters, man. Like, there is so many diverse characters. But to be honest, this one reminds me a little bit of Pakunoda. <laughs> okay. Party is popping off, it seems, man. And this guy is approaching these girls. Is he buying them drinks? Yeah. Okay. He's giving them some sort of visit card. Oh, I don't like this. Is he pointing something? The girls like a grease. Mm. Oh boy, I'm getting some creepy vibes from this guy, to be honest. Oh, wow. The entire, this entire hotel. Yeah, owned by the prince. Oh, owned by the prince. Okay, we are moving to... Is it the same place or no? Welcome. Don't be shy. Those are the girls. I, oh, this is the guy, this is the prince that Kurapika is after right now. With the eyes. I want to hear from all sorts of people so I don't lose touch. 
You live here by yourself? Haha, <laughs> I invite people over so I don't get lonely. Care for a drink? Oh my god. Oh, the way they focused on like the doors closing after they went inside. I have a gut feeling that I'm about to see something very fucked up. I don't know. I just had this gut feeling, man, after this panel. This is, like, it's kind of creeping me out, man. But maybe I'm wrong, let's see. Okay. Mark, my man, those women, all they cared about? Oh, sorry. All they cared about was fashion and fucking. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, are, is he referring to those two girls? They'd never, they'd never heard of pigs. S, I P S, Serbia, Serbia. Hey, what the fuck? Liga Española. Is he like? Wait a minute. Is he talking about football? Serie A is Italian League, Liga Española is Spanish, of course. There is no Premier League or League One, France. Like, I was thinking for a second that this might be like some sort of names of real life footballers, but only like for the copyrights changed names. Like, I thought this is like Ryan Giggs from Manchester United. But they're all old players, they don't play anymore. Can't Hegel Akuko Fechner Goldbeck Janacek Krokul or anything. <laughs> oh my god, of course. He's he's showering. Wait. Is this It's him, right? It's not this guy. This guy picked up these girls and he brought them to the prince, right? And now prince is talking to him, to Mark. Is that guy Mark? I hope I'm following this correctly. At least ask beforehand if they know the capital of Kakin, the ruling party or the name of the king. That's the bare minimum for human being. If I am skinning pigs and monkeys, it's just dissection. Uh, what I seek is art. Oh no, oh no. Then anime characters mention art, man. It's gonna be something fucking wild, man. I can already tell. What I seek is art produced by youth with the future put in an extreme situation. Synthesis of the arts. Synthesis of the arts. Art produced by youth with a future. Put in an extreme situation. Holy fuck. There is more than one uh, parallel to Hisoka that I'm witnessing on this page, man. So he also likes youth with like potential future and he's also getting the, the naked shot, man. Two more females, please. Chop, chop. Oof. I kind of hate this guy already. The way he speaks, man. Truly entitled, spoiled son of a king. In jacuzzi with a fucking amazing view, bro. Write up a contract and get beyond to sign it. If he violates even one clause, tell him he'll spend the rest of his life in prison. Yes, I understand. It's chill talking to that little fellow. I don't want to imagine the worst case scenario, but if you let him get away, and allow a situation to develop in which he makes a discovery on the new continent. And he declares to the whole world that he owns that discovery. 
I guarantee your future won't be so bright either. He's threatening them as well. He's making Beyond uh, right, uh, sign a contract. Okay, they will have like a special clause for him, rules that he shouldn't violate, which he will probably violate. Okay, yes, we are well aware of that. Read this. Okay, I definitely can't read that. Yeah, exactly like I said, right? Perhaps, but as you can see, you will not be released. Your actions will be considerably restricted. You'll stay in a room under 24-hour watch. Chopper ones will accompany you on outings. Your whereabouts will be monitored via an ankle with a tracking device. Any communication with anyone will be managed and monitored. It's freaking Netero's son we're talking about. Do you, are we really supposed to believe that this will like keep him? <laughs> I I don't know, man. I mean, what else can they do? They're taking like this extremely seriously with the contacts, the contract, and will be monitored 24 hours. He has tracking device, but I still believe like that like won't do jack shit to this guy. Do not resist association during the journey. Anything found through my actions will belong to the V6, and any disclosure of information in any medium is forbidden. I see. Well, all reasonable demands. I don't object. Will you sign it, please? And he does it. Now you've gained permission. Only three things remain. He drops the pen. Qualifications. The means. A contract. Yo, I like how they did this. Qualifications, they show the zodiacs, the means. We see this prince who is getting two girls, uh, like, what he was saying about skinning. Did he did he really skin those two girls? Is that what really happened? That is so fucked if true, man. And if, if guy collects Kurta eyes, man, I wouldn't be surprised, honestly. Okay, qualifications, the means contract. We see Kurapika and Misa What will you do with the prince after you get the eyes back? I just want my brethren back. Uh, I'll yield most demands. That makes sense. We saw that he got many eyes in all different ways, right? But if he resists, oh, he is going to resist me. This is gonna be fucking nuts, I can already tell. There were two people who told me they would rather die than hand them over. But they changed their minds without dying. Okay, it will be the same with the prince. Because he probably <laughs> left them on like near death scenario, man. And they had to do it. I sure hope so. Oh, oh. It's gonna be so fucking hype. They're they're going to fight, that's for sure. That's it. That's how we end. Okay. Okay, 100 more problem sets. <laughs> and Gon continues. Man, this is giving me vibes when he was <laughs> being punished by Palm, man. Do we have something else? Or, oh no, we are diving into next chapter. <sighs> this is so incredible, guys. I'm loving this shit, man. Where Pika is for sure going to face the prince, man. The prince is having some nasty aura around him. Man. 
And when I say aura, I mean what I can gather from seeing him in these chapters, right? We still don't know if he is actually powerful, what kind of abilities he possesses, but he has to have Nen, man. That's for sure. The way Mizai Stone was speaking about him, that he has like some shadows around him, man. Oof, this is gonna be rough, man. But Kurapika is pretty confident, obviously. I like the way he was speaking about those two who would rather die than give Kurta eyes. They did. And they survived, man. So who knows uh, how, how, in which way Scrapika tortured that information out of them, man. But yeah, it's getting so fucking good. We got to see my boy Gon speaking on the phone with Jinx. So now they are keeping in touch, with, which I really like. And Gon, poor Gon, will finally get to have some like normal child activities man and he's really very like uh how, how how do you say that word diligent or whatever he's helping around the high house doing the chores everything with a smile on his face without any problem and i like that jinx said it would be ungrateful to wish that you can use nen again right considering that you threw everything away i kind of like that but also at the same time it's like they're literally telling us, oh, you thought that Gon would wake Nen after previous chapter. You're wrong, man. <laughs> He's done with Nen. Yeah, I guess it can be interpreted like that, but also... Ah, I don't know, man. It's Togashi, you never know, man. But also there is a hint, on the other hand, that he might be able to use it because he has it. Because it's a life energy, basically. So maybe he just needs, he's back to normal, right? So maybe he just needs like the fucking Nen punch, right? Like uh, Chimera Ants Vogue their Nen or something like that. But one thing is for sure, it seems like Togashi is gonna keep going out of this arc, man. Which makes sense because <sighs> last arcs that we witnessed, right? With uh, not election, but Chimera and uh greed island they were heavily focused on on gone man so yeah now we are focusing it looks like more on kurapika and lorio which is equally as hype man not gonna lie it's gonna be so fucking awesome but yeah what the fuck is wrong with the prince did he really skin those two girls are they dead so he, he has some guy paying drinks for some Hot girls and he brings them over to the prince and the way he was saying bring me two girls like chop chop like he's ordering like that's that's disgusting behavior man that behavior like really makes my blood boil right because he's treating like them like that man it's it's really disgusting but yeah he was giving me his soccer vibes because not, not only because he was naked but because he said that that line about the youth with the potential, right? He definitely is giving me his soccer vibes. We also saw uh, this contract, and of course, Beyond is playing the game. He's chilling. He's chilling. He's singing that shit. I'm sure he will get away. That's that goes without saying, man. I'm I'm 100% sure that there will be a lot of trickery and i i will probably feel bad for the zodiacs man i don't know i'm scared for them bro look at chill she looks like scared even in this situation and very uncertain also the stuff with pariston and him saying that jink actually might be the first person that he truly hates that goes to show you that uh jink has a huge influence over Pariston, man. Like the first person ever. That's crazy. And he loves when people hate him, right? So now he's feeling a little bit of other side, right? And he's he doesn't know what he would do to a person he hates, right? Because he was saying that he likes to make people he 
cares about like suffer in some form which is very messed up man so you never know what an individual like Pariston might do also we saw the other members of the group right like accepting Jing is number two and they are like wondering why is he willing to go that far to have like this name of being number two right so that's also what they're thinking about and it it makes sense that they would question a bunch of shit that's happening so yeah the means the qualifications and a contract those are the things needed and i believe that jing told gon in the anime in the last episode about this stuff that are necessary for going to dark continent so yeah another incredible chapter guys i think i will end the video here for today thank you so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed if you did please consider subscribing leave a like comment all that good stuff as always check out my patreon page if you want to see full and early reactions i will be seeing you very soon with another video until then Take care and have a nice day. See ya.